813, will you guys be okay if Baylor and TCU went to the ACC? Houston and Texas Tech go to the Pac-12. Uh, the ACC and Pac-12 come together because of the ACC network. There's a lot of if, ands, and buts. <laughs> Love the fact you wanted to contact us and ask us that question, but that got that kind of got me out. I'm I'm out of whack on that. Well, I, I just think it would be a long road to a much shorter road would be if you're going to have those two teams and then two other teams from the same conference join a different conference. And those two conferences merge. Why not just do that from the outset? You know, uh, it seemed like you could probably eliminate a few steps. But to your question, if would I be upset if TCU or Baylor or TCU and Baylor joined the ACC? No. I'd be upset if they joined the AAC right now. I think that would be a bit of a bummer. But any spot at the, you know, hypothetical table, uh, whether that's in the Big Ten or the Big 12 or the Pac-12 or the SEC or the ACC, I mean, all, all you want is a chair at this point when, you know, when the music stops, all you want to want to have is a chair. And right now they have a chair and maybe they got a backup chair. And as, so long as they have that, I'm, I'm going to be happy for those schools. And and that goes for anybody. Um, you know, I, I just hate the thought of schools dropping uh, below a level of, of where they have been. The thought of that really sucks uh, for schools that have been competing for national titles and been doing a little bit, um, you know, uh, doing doing more with less. I think to to eliminate them from the equation, no matter what conference you're talking about, would would be a bummer. So yeah, I'd be I'd be totally fine if they joined the ACC because they're basically you know staying in the, a similar spot to where they have been. I don't want to see any team lose the ability to be a part of where they are now. Now we know right. some drop, and there are some that want to move up. There's now a hundred and like thirty one F. BS schools in football. There one time was just over a hundred, so it's growing. It may not be a good time to be growing. You know, the schools that have gotten in or out of FCS, Sam Houston State, one of the rivals for my alma mater, they're moving up. And we've seen what UAB's up and down, and others. It, it's a little bit hard to kind of keep up with me. But here is what. Go ahead. I was going to say to the other part of that, like I mean, as far as losing the rivalries, that would kind of suck because you've already lose. You're losing Texas. You're losing Oklahoma. If you were to suddenly lose like Tech and and who was the other example, Oklahoma State or something, like yeah, I think that would be a bummer because just there's. I understand there's regionality is not important anymore, but I do think it is, and I think we're going to return return to a time, maybe not in the so, maybe not in the the so far off future where we realize you know what regionality actually was a good thing and regionality was a lot of why college football made sense and was such a popular sport was because of the regionality of it and it's almost being disregarded as though it's not important at all in some ways and I don't know I think we're going to find ourselves looking in the mirror sooner rather than later going no it was important it, you know it didn't drive everything and it didn't drive you know the realignment and all that but it should have been probably taken into account a little bit more given a bit more weight than it than it has Steve frog fan no tcu and baylor state reap the rewards of future fortunes uh thanks <laughs> for all of that i want to go back to 